personal training, why you should sell personal training, X, Y, and you know, all these different just basic gym owner things, how to manage your finances. And then after the three months of the incubator, you can choose to go to growth, which is essentially like a monthly subscription to be part of their Facebook group and have a mentor call every month with your mentor. And they'll help you set goals, pursue your goals, kind of give you advice and guidance based on their experience. Um, it's just a mastermind. And I mean, I'm still, I'm still into your brain. So I spent five years. I've been doing that. Uh, no shit. Yeah. Wow. And you don't work for them. No, I've thought about applying to be a mentor, but I haven't done it yet. Wow. That is really cool. And have you helped other gyms with the stuff that you've learned from two brain? Yeah. Like the yeah, the, volume the round tables. Yeah. Um, do you think that if you wouldn't have gone that way with two brain, it, uh, things would have been different? Yeah, definitely. When I spoke to him, the most powerful thing that he said to me that I, that, that stands out, he probably said a ton of stuff was that basically, um, he, he made a shitload of mistakes himself. Yeah. And the way he explained the way mistakes happen was fascinating to me. He said, everyone knows the first thing you do. That's the easiest. You get the gym. Yeah. And then what's the second thing and the third thing and the fourth thing? And at some point down there, it becomes, should you get a, a new mirror in the bathroom or should you buy a new kettlebell? And he says in these decisions, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I don't remember exactly yeah. what the examples he gave me, yeah, but it was when I had him on the podcast when I was at, when I was at CrossFit. And he said, basically, there's wrong decisions to be made there. A lot of them. Yeah. And so you want to make sure you're making the right, you're choosing that right path. It's kind of like that game Candyland or whatever those board games are yeah. where they got a million fucking paths. You don't want to fall down the wrong ladder. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, like the guys that owned it before me, they fucked up Candyland. Like they right. had <laughs> three years, made a bunch of shitty choices and like, then they sold it, you know? Like there was a reason I was the fourth owner and that's, I wanted to stop that. Uh, fourth owner in four years. Yeah, dude. That's amazing. Well, um, why do you keep um, paying? Um, why do you stay a CrossFit gym? Why, why not? Now that you've had the success, um, just let your affiliate fees lapse and and, and change the name to Mountain Island um, uh, Cody Bradburn. Because I value integrity, and to me, if, if I kept doing CrossFit and stopped supporting the brand of CrossFit. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. And I've like gone back and forth. Like, cause you know, Greg's not there anymore. And it's like, it's like the story of, um, what is it? Odysseus' boat. It's like, if it's the same boat, but you've replaced all the, all the boards on the boat, is it the same boat? I mean, I say it's the same boat. You know, like I, I still eat, breathe and sleep CrossFit. You know, I spend all my time listening to their podcasts and watching your videos and people make me like, I just, I care about it. So if I were to like disenfranchise from CrossFit or leave CrossFit to save $3,000 a year, it's like, that's not worth it. Like I'd, I'd much rather su support the mission and the vision that Greg created and it's still in motion in some way. Like, even though they're struggling right now with direction, I still hope that they can get back to their roots and pursue Greg's vision and I'd much rather pay to support that than not. I, 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 what would be the equivalent elsewhere? The, the example that I've used a lot of times is it's a tithing you're paying. You know, the way people would pay money yeah. to a church. Yeah. Or I heard Greg refer to it as, you know, hey, you know, we've let the cat out of the bag. Now the affiliates are just pay, paying a brand loyalty payment. You use the word integrity. I like that. I wonder what the okay, – I'm sure this is a really hard pill to swallow if you're running a company, right? Because like you're, the, all the MBAs are like, well, of course we, we, we sell M&Ms and these pretty wrappers and we trick kids to buy them and we put them, you know, at the counter there and we have them buy food that hurts them and it adds no value to their life, but we keep selling it to them. I mean, you know what I mean? And that, but that's what they do. But, but yours is this reason that affiliates I think are staying on board is so abstract. And these people yeah. who work there want to add value. I, no, no one at HQ wants to be late. Well, I shouldn't say no one, but the vast majority of people don't want to be lazy. They want to find a way to add value to the affiliates, even if the affiliate fees are going to just pay. And someone like Craig Howard over at Pleasanton CrossFit, 
um, or Diablo CrossFit has set the bar so low that like, hey, just don't fuck up the brand. Yeah. Like, absolutely. don't do anything for me. Yeah. Just don't poop on the doorstep. But but those people need – those people want to add value. The people who work yeah, at CrossFit right. HQ, they want to add value. Yeah, they're making an effort for sure. And it's getting better. Like, they put out the the um, affiliate roundtables. They put out the affiliate owner handbook. They're doing their quarterly affiliate owner meetups where they have people presenting, like, best practices, which is great. I'm glad to see that. What did but you like, think about that? Have you read the handbook? I've, I've, I've read through it a little bit. I haven't read it front, front to back. I've, um, okay. I've checked out sections. There's a lot of stuff in there that I already do that I learned from two brain. Um, do you think it's plagiarized from two brain? No, no, okay. I don't think so. Just it's checking. not the same as two brain. There's okay. yeah, for sure. There's, um, they're saying a lot of similar things in a different way, like with different voices. But okay. the end outcome, the, the outcome still sounds the same to me. And there's, there's a lot of stuff I could be doing better. There's a lot of things I could do better. And that's why I, I, I have the affiliate playbook on a tab and my computer always open. So I can go back and look at it when I'm, when I have a few minutes to like, you know, work on some personal growth and development from that. Um, so I try to do that often, but even if CrossFit wasn't doing that, I, I would still pay my affiliate fees. I'd still be an affiliate because I'm proud to be an affiliate and I'm proud to give them money to help them pursue their, their vision, their mission and try to fix society. Cause it's pretty fucked right now. The so. uh, word. Um, I wonder if it's equivalent to your members paying you during the months you were closed down for COVID yeah, because probably. they believe they, or, or like I used to when, my where my kids do tennis or my kids do jujitsu it's more than just a place they do jujitsu or do tennis or do skateboarding it's a place that i can't i i don't want it to go away no matter what it's yeah. a community for my kids 100 percent. i would be so bummed if one of these places closed down not yeah. because they couldn't do the sport anymore but because that that community where would that community go yeah, it's so it's sort of you so it's kind of that right big picture you pay into that to make sure the community stays together yeah that's a, a good way to put it. So interesting. How long were you closed during the um, the, the the pandemic restrictions or whatever the fuck people call it these days? Um, two to three months, somewhere in there. Oh, okay. Months. So did you give the middle finger and just open it back up? That doesn't yeah. seem very – yeah. Police ever yeah. come? No. Awesome. I'd love to hear that. Thank you, officers of uh, Charlotte, for not going to the gym and letting people get healthy. Yeah. What What do you tell people if someone asks you what you're selling? What What do you tell people? Or does anyone ever ask you that? Not in those words, um, but when that topic comes up, I mean, I tell them I'm selling the solution to their problems. 